This meme speaks a million words. The sad part here is that people are fighting with their fellow gamers instead of asking for better. Toxic gamer! What do you want? Do you want the game to die? Do, do you literally just want to keep supporting this crap until the game dies? Multi-billion dollar company that has been making games for years with experience. The gameplay that you're watching. Yes, Activision, Treyarch, those devs made it. This game that you're watching, gameplay you're watching in the background, 13 years ago, this well, folks, it ain't gaming. If there's no controversy, we got another controversy. People are mad. People are angry. And this time, I gotta start this video off with this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a bunch of things to show you. In fact, we even have a movie to watch together. It is time, okay? Because check this out. Our first story. In fact, this is sound gonna sound really silly, but ladies and gentlemen, it is facts, no printers, as the kids would say, Infinity War. This is silly, right? This is silly. You agree? I agree. You agree. We all agree. Bruh. Let's just... Let's just agree on that, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not just about normal red dots. This is not just about having a normal minimap. It is more so about the fact that they were fixing what was not broken when the community gave them feedback. They simply ignored it. They simply ignored it. And what our fellow gamers did, you want to know what they did? They started fighting with each other. Our fellow gamers, you and I, they divided us. They are trying to divide us. They, we started fighting over this with each other instead of talking about it instead of being critical about it because this is something and there are many examples I can give you this was not a problem this really never was a problem back in the days right and people were like yo we gotta get the hardcore hardcore is gonna be fine they changed hardcore as well with tier 1 bull squash like that there are countless examples we really are defending a multi-billion dollar company here. Like, if you were fighting with your fellow gamers, I want you to slap yourself right now, okay? Not too hard, but uh, accountability, ladies and gentlemen. Right. But I got a bunch of things to show you guys, and uh, the rabbit hole goes deep. Let's go for two likes on the video, because Charlie until came out, and we, in fact, have a movie to catch as well, but Activision sending out a new survey asking people what they think the next Warzone map should be. That on paper, I gotta... Hallelujah, bro. That sounds really good. Right? It seems like they are looking to improve. And quite frankly, that's pretty good, right? Like, they, they were signing out uh, this uh, email with an all-new map. But then, what do I see? What do I see? And it includes remaster maps of old Warzone maps. Yeah, that's... So, so throw, throw that in away, man. Remaster maps! Remaster maps! Are you guys out of here? Goddamn, like, multi-billion dollar company, man multi-billion dollar company and to be honest like i wouldn't mind uh alcatraz back so Bumbacad. i i know but i wouldn't mind that but again bro we're talking about a free to play they're making more money than god right now as nero said nero Shenima once said can not can they not just give us one new map is that really that hard and check this out ladies and gentlemen this is gonna definitely open up your third eye because uh i just cannot even compute this one we're gonna be talking about the player count and we really are under emo blame truth era once again apparently he came back as well so boom, 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 boom. wow uh, wow only 184,000 on multiplayer can you imagine so essentially the situation here is that back in the glory days at one point, I know it's kind of hard to see, but at one point, there were 3 million people. Can you believe that? I cannot even compute that. I had a hard time computing this one because if I remember correctly, I've seen million players. I remember uh, Black Ops 1 was my first Call of Duty. Let me know what was your first Call of Duty, but Black Ops 1, I remember, had 1 million players. Easy, easy. We're talking 2010. Call of Duty was on top, and now we're in 2023. 13, 14 years later, you would expect Call of Duty to be much better because they got 3,000 devs, 3,000 uh, 3, 3, devs, and 3 years, 3 years. They got more money than God. They're making more money than ever. We, we, the, the, we got next-gen consoles or current-gen consoles consoles the ps5 series x they got technology for days they have engines ready dead ass dead ass and i'm having a hard time believe this we're talking one console only xbox 360 bro xbox 360 you're telling me one console could do three million people not including pc not including ps4 ps this was simply on ps3 and xbox 360 and this player count is xbox 360 only and apparently now check this this is gonna sound ridiculous here guys uh, get ready but now there are only 184,000 people on multiplayer. I mean, damn, son. 
damn talk about incompetency the devs are lazy as hell you do not believe me man i i'm i'm done being a defeated gamer three weeks ago i was a defeated gamer but no longer bro like after this i don't think anybody would be i'm seeing a lot of people starting to wake up and it's good because if be listen man being nice gets you really nowhere it seriously doesn't man i don't i'm not going personally here uh there's surely a lot of really good devs out there really passionate devs but when you see shies out like that bro like man, when you it's charlie intel charlie intel is reporting that this man is gonna be here allegedly if you still do not know it's still a rumor bruh i really hope it's still a rumor uh, but i hope it's not true but museum is gonna be considered a new map new map new map in the upcoming season two bro i can't i really cannot compute this ladies and gentlemen they are doing that and with this one ladies and gentlemen with the power of boom, 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 God. we're gonna check out what the homie emo blame Trot has to say roll so what i have for you is finally some hard data thanks to this random tweet i was tagged Ow. in today I, I couldn't believe this when i saw it my jaw dropped but it makes oh, total shit. sense He's at gonna the same talk time about that too. call of duty this these numbers are horrendous guys they are terrible so I've been showing you Steam charts. I've been showing you the game just gradually bleeding players. Bleeding players. Going from Damn. nearly 500,000 total players between Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, and DMZ. All the way down, I think today I saw it at around 95,000 total. That is a huge drop. This is a rumor, by the way, like we're hearing... We're hearing that apparently... Pump the brakes. Yep, yeah, that's right. That's why I do that. We're hearing that there are apparently a million people across all the Call of Duty games. That includes Warzone Mobile, that includes Warzone 2, Warzone 1, I believe they... they bum 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 that. Yeah, they did. We're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on console. So, one million people. That's a lot of people, okay? Let's keep a buck 50 here. A million people playing their game. That's amazing. That's awesome. But you gotta understand, at one point... 14 years ago when they were not spending this much money on their franchise they were doing 3 million on one console alone supposedly when call of duty was not big as it is right now varies between that sometimes it goes lower than that i've seen it as low as like 60,000 i've seen it as high as 120,000 but the point is is the game gradually is losing players at an alarming rate considering this is a mm. two-year game and considering warzone 2 just came out this is not good so people have been trying to argue with that saying like where's your steam man more 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 these these copium cod dick writers <laughs> man i don't know what they are huffing Aside from the copia, maybe some lead paint or something. I don't know, man. Damn. But they are trying to just stick up for this billion dollar company that shits on them at the end of the day. I have some hard numbers here. Check. Man, the, the sad part here is that people are fighting with their fellow gamers instead of asking for better. That's some of the dumbest thing ever. Like, just think about this for a second, right? If you're going to buy a car, I, I know, like, that's a completely different example, but it, it works. It really is true, though. If you're looking to buy a car, doesn't matter if it's new or secondhand, let's just say used car because you're smart. You know that if you buy a new car, it will lose uh, its value. But if you have all the money in the world, then go for a new car. Well, it doesn't matter. That's not even the point. But the Bruh. point here is that if you're looking to buy a car and if it comes out, if you buy that car and it doesn't have a steering wheel, how does that sound? That's basically the AAA gaming nowadays, man. It's not just Call of Duty. It's gaming as a whole. Yeah, I'm not denying it. There have been really good games recently. We're all hyped for Hogwarts Legacy. I hope that that's a banger out there, but I really hope that game is great. We had God of War. A lot of people loved Elden Ring. I'm not into it. So what, right? A lot of people loved it, and that's uh, that's awesome. Modern Warfare 2, objectively, on paper, it's very good game, but the devs are lazy as hell. They're incompetent as hell. Three years, 3,000 devs. They ignore the community feedback they simply just said we do not care about what you have to say and now they're reaping their repercussions now people are leaving the game they still are gonna blame you for being toxic they're gonna call you toxic they're gonna call you problematic and a menace to society as well yeah. i had to include that one Check this somehow out. look at this image this is the total number of players between not just warzone 2 not just modern Dang. warfare 2 but cod mobile and this is just the total number of players like in general 1,104,383 as of that day, whenever this was taken. Uh, what does the tweet say? Apparently, Charlie until came out and they hit him up with the bomb. Oh God. God. They said that a museum in Spain is claiming to have player count numbers for Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and Mobile, but it appears those numbers are not official. Stop the cap. Nor even close. Activision doesn't share player count specifically for games anymore to anyone. Honestly, that's a fact though, right? They do not share for that reason because I believe I could be I could be wrong. wrong. I'm a man, so I'm always wrong. wrong. Right? I'm not strong. I'm not independent. Strong, 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 strong and independent, strong and independent, strong and So yeah, you you know what I'm saying, right? Bruh. But Activision, they will not disclose the number 
because if they do that, their investors will see uh, and they will be able to make a comparison just like how the toxic gamers, they want to call us toxic, right? I'm not the one saying that. Toxic gamers, they're going to be able to compare the numbers and it's not going to be a good look. That's essentially what it is. Publishes the number of active players on all platforms directly in an event in Spain, which reached 1,104,383 players yesterday. So January 26th, uh, 424,000 players in Warzone 2, 184,000 players in Modern Warfare Bruh. 2, and 406,000 players in COD mode. Now, now let's be objective about it. Yo, 184,000? There's still a lot of people. It is, guys. It is. I, Wrong. Come on, man. It is. It is a lot of people. But in comparison to launch, in comparison to Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, like all the previous Call of Duty games, that is crazy, low. But again, okay, it, let's be objective about the situation once again. Activision has not disclosed the numbers publicly. We're basically going off of Steam charts and we're basically going off of that recent report that came out and we're going off of the, the, the player count that we used to have on Call of Duty back in the days. But but it's clear, right? The interest is not there as, as, as compared to... Between these three giants we're barely breaking a million players now here's the thing two of these modes are free to play cod mobile and warzone 2 look at True. the player i mean just just take this in guys take this in 184,000 players total on this multiplayer game right now uh, on modern warfare 2 the 70 dollars most advanced call of duty of all time hyped to high heaven only 184,000 players in Mo most advanced call of duty ever. modern warfare roman numeral 2 multiplayer now I i'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind check this out Th this, this is just it just speaks for itself. I, I saved Ow. this tweet for a rainy day because I knew it would come in handy. Okay, so Bruh. someone tweeted out on the 20th of February, 2000. <laughs> Bomb man, man, homeboy really saving tweets for a rainy day. You cannot get any more gamer, toxic gamer than this. This is truly emo blame truth at its peak, at its finest. Emo blame truth. He went full on emo. He went bozo. He he, he bleh, I cannot say that word. He he about to drop a DDT right now, bruh. 2011, four months after launch, almost three million players on Xbox 360 on Black Ops One alone. Damn. I remember Modern Warfare 2, MW3, and BO2 pulling similar numbers during their primes. I laugh nice. whenever someone says COD now has more active players than ever. And if you actually look at the image of this tweet. 2,938,745 players online on Xbox 360 alone. I was there during that time on Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 is one yeah. of the better selling Call of Duty games of all time. One of the most innovative Call of Duty games of all time for its time. A, a big leap in terms of innovation and just, I mean, it was just, it, also it was set in the past. So this whole like, players prefer modern games. Bullshit, man. And what you're watching in the background, that is MKI Spire gameplay of Black Ops 1. Just look at that. This game, it's like a fine wine. Um, haram, I know, but, uh, but, but, it's like a fine wine, bro. This game came out 14, uh, 13 or 14 years ago. Crazy, crazy, absolutely crazy. And the thing is that they are saying more active players and they're counting in Call of Duty Mobile. But even when they count in Call of Duty Mobile, if given the situation, if what we're told is true, 1 million players across the board, with, including Call of Duty Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, they are including Call of Duty Mobile, that's a, that's a fact. If this report is true, 1 million players versus just one game, one game, 13, 14 years ago, 3 million player count. That is insane. That is crazy, bro. Man. Crazy. It, players prefer fun games. Players prefer Facts. games where the dev teams care. This has got to be a wake-up call to Activision. The fact that Black Ops 1, just on Xbox 360, back in the day, Damn. had nearly three times the amount of players. And this was a paid game only. There were no free modes. There was no mobile game, whatever. I'm sure Activision's still making good money. I'm sure they're making great money even, you know, because they're selling skins to morons, pasting oh, yeah. idiots. Yeah. So that's great. I'm sure all the stupid skins they sell makes up for the lack of players. But see, here's the thing. Every time you buy a skin, every time you pay $10 more and you're fine with that, purchasing a $70 triple-A game that's unfinished, every time you give them money, every time they still make money, they can get away with bleeding players. They can get away with releasing subpar True. products. Every time you defend this billion-dollar company by saying that, oh, it's not that bad, get the <laughs> out of your stupid <laughs> ugly mouth. Okay? Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Yo, that's toxic. Toxic level uh, 5,000. But these are facts, though. There was, in fact, a report came out. In fact, Activision said publicly. Bruh. During their financial calls, I, we made more money. We made billions. Uh, I remember, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was like two years ago when they came out and said that they made like three point some billion in three months. Just awful.
microtransactions alone, not counting the sales. That's insane. So they're making more money with microtransactions than our fellow gamers are fighting with each other on the dumbest thing ever. They're saying that, bro, they need to make money. If they do not make money, they won't be able to put the game out. My God, they are making more money with the microtransactions. They can drop Call of Duty multiplayer for free right now, and they're going to make way more money because of the, the way they have set up those microtransactions right it, it is absolutely crazy it is absolutely crazy every time you support this studio we continue to get bad games player numbers continue to drop like, what do you want do you want the game to die do, do you literally just want to keep supporting this crap until the game dies because mm. that's what's going to happen they're going to do to call of duty what they did to guitar hero but let's just go back to those numbers i i i'm not yeah, honestly if you love call of duty you need to speak out man like seriously uh it's not even about being about guys being a bad human or being toxic or problematic just do not call the devs names or do not go at them if you want to but but they are lazy as hell bro like i'm just keeping a buck 50 bro like you cannot tell me otherwise if this is true even if this is not true, bro, two maps every two months, bro, that is some of the laziest thing ever. We're talking about, guys, we're talking about a multi-billion dollar company. We're not talking about one dev. We're not talking about one guy in his basement, in his mom basement, working on this game. We're talking about a multi-billion dollar company that has been making games for years with experience. The gameplay that you're watching. Yes, Activision, Treyarch, those devs made it. This game that you're watching, gameplay you're watching in the background, 13 years ago, they really made this game technology has been better than ever we have better graphics cards they have better computers they have more manpower they have more dollars they have more people in the research team they have more people in the animation department they have more scientists than ever they know how to make a micro transaction now this is how bad it has gotten Bruh. i'm not just talking call of duty i'm talking worldwide uh, all the triple a games combined it is gaming is going downhill and it is no, it's gonna be like this till we come together as one. We need to come together as one. Guys, like, if you're a gamer, if you love gaming, because it is ridiculous at this point. It is really, really sad, man. I, I, I was a defeated gamer. I was like, bro, like, I'm... I'm, I'm gonna lower my expectations, probably gonna get better. There are still a handful of games that are coming out crazy, coming out complete, coming out like, you look at those games, you're like, it is possible, so that gives you hope, but when you look at Call of Duty, what Activision and what other game companies are doing, it is sad. I mean, recently we heard what? EA? I... EA? Hello? I cannot even compute this one. People are saying Dead Space Remake is a good one. <laughs> It's a good remake port. I mean, wow. Oh, wow. Shock <laughs> Shocking. Uh, listen, credit to EA for this one. Shout out to EA for this one. I'm not into Dead Space, but a lot of people are saying that. So if a lot of people universally across the board are saying that, that's actually good. But again, we're talking about a remake we're talking about. It's not like the 8th Wonder, but it's the 7th Wonder outside. Bruh. It's still amazing that they came out and the fans are happy. I'm not going to take that away. But you need to understand that new games that are coming out right now, they are incomplete. And it's going to be like this till we can come together and, and criticize objectively, okay? Without getting our feelings into it. You can get a little bit of your feelings into it. But you, you got to try to back up with the data just like how we got the numbers there. We got uh, this meme that this meme speaks a million words okay somebody said that a picture speaks a thousand words but this speaks a million words a million words this is in front of you they this is not just about red dots guys this is not just about minimap it is more than that it is about the incompetency it is about the devs just completely telling their fan base their customer base to f that go f themselves H have you ever heard customers are always right well not with activision not in the call of duty not with call of duty customers are always wrong, wrong. and on top if you're a man you are way too wrong. wrong you are wrong two times three times four times quadruple five ten every you know what i mean it's crazy bro Bruh. making it up i'm not I'm, I'm showing you like proof here you know 3 million players on one platform on a $60 multiplayer game four months after launch compared to three months after launch, two months after launch for Warzone even. A million players spread across Warzone, spread across multiplayer, spread across COD Mobile. Two of those modes are free. Damn. There is a problem. Charlie Intel Damn. even tweeted out, hey, uh, the numbers are down. The sad Ow. thing is, is they probably are making more or equal money now because yeah. instead of making a good game, they're just looking for ways to monetize and nickel and dime their customers to death. How do you people not see it? It's clear as day. They're still doing Facts. well money-wise, but it's well below where they thought they would be because they keep shitting out subpar products. Yo, thing is that a lot of people would be like, yo, Fortnite ruined gaming, but the way I see it, yeah. Bruh. <laughs> They did ruin gaming. I started They did ruin gaming, but.
but it's not their fault. It's like, listen, guys, for example, I'll give you this easy example. Mr. Beast, he's making videos that are crazy good. A lot of people love his videos, but a lot of people are not his target audience, which is perfectly fine. Okay, we all do not like the same thing. That's what makes us different. And that's actually really good. Spice, okay? Spice. We, we love spice in life, okay? We like, we like different food for a reason. But not everybody would like Mr. Beast videos. But the thing here is that if Mr. Beast is making great videos, you cannot blame him for having the best videos. He's gonna do everything he can to make the best videos he possibly can for his brand and for his channel right and if somebody comes out and be like oh, mr beast uh, ruined my channel man because of him we cannot grow same applies here bro like fortnite is killing it they found a great way to keep their player base for as long as possible they're still killing it not as much as how they were killing it before but they are killing it and you cannot blame them because every other dev every other publisher try to copy them with their battle pass and they ultimately failed because the frequency of the the content that they were trying to deliver was just not there it was not up to par in comparison to fortnite it was a bad copy of fortnite i don't tell you i don't tell you oh this guy in the gameplay has some butter legs here. Well, um, he went bye-bye. Well, Activision's gonna go bye-bye pretty soon if they keep giving us bad games. And you know, it's not even just Activision, it's all across the board. AAA gaming, it, it's bad. For the most part, it's bad. There's been two really good AAA hyped up games this past year, Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok, pretty much. I went back and played Skyrim, 11 year old game. I modded it out, I didn't mod it myself, but I got mods from the community who make better games than devs now. I'm not kidding with that. They really, Damn. really do. Look at SM2, look at the dev team behind that. People working for free in their free time, like when they can. And they're gonna release a game that's better That's than pure passion. That is pure passion. Call of Shame ended up getting canceled and exposed. You wanna see what happened? Click on this video on the screen or click on the video on the left because I'm telling you, man. Or maybe you do not wanna click that. You know what? I'm not gonna tell you what's in that video. Maybe you need to see it, but I'm gonna say don't click it. But click the video on the right for sure. And I'll see you there.